Hey everyone, this is Chris, and this is my like third attempt at recording a video today because mic settings keep getting all messed up, so I'm going to try and be a little quick. Sorry I missed a video last week. Uh, turns out talking to your computer when you have a sore throat for half an hour to an hour hurts, and it sounds like shit. So I spared you all and my throat from that video. But in more positive news, Wilds of Ravanian is finally out. It's been almost a year and a half since the previous deluxe expansion. And today I'm going to show you a starter deck with the Dale cards. Now we did get more player cards in Wilds of Ravanian than we normally do, uh, which means that the Dale archetype is possibly more fleshed out now than others in similar decks are in similar boxes. So this is a deck that is built from one core set and one copy of Wilds. Uh, you know, and it feels pretty good. Our hero lineup is Bard, Son of Brand, Brand, Son of Bane, and my personal favorite, especially when we're in a core set limited environment, Theodred. Uh, I definitely thought about Berivor for more card draw, but I think getting the resources is maybe going to be more important, uh, especially in the corset environment where I want to play things like Northern Tracker for four without any real great ways of accelerating that. But regardless, that's the hero lineup we are going with. Uh, and the plan, sort of get us started, is what we really want is Steward of Gondor and King of Dale as soon as possible. Uh, Bard Son of Brand can use his resources for any item. And with King of Dale, we can use any resources for Dale allies. So if we get a bunch of resources on Bard Son of Brand, we should be in a pretty good shape. Uh, we also have, of course, the Northern Trackers that I mentioned, which we're going to need to pay for with spirit resources. And basically at least one copy of every Dale card in the box. Uh, there's not actually true. I don't have Long Lake Trader, uh, and there's probably some others that I don't have. I don't have Necklace of Geria, and, you know, so it's not literally everything from the box, but we got a pretty good mix of Dale allies and Dale attachments, which you will see when we get in the game. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, that is probably all we really need to get us started, so see you in the game. All right, here we are in Octagon, and the astute among you will have realized this is Journey down the Anduin. Journey up the Anduin doesn't exist in Octagon yet, and I am in no way interested in spending the time today to create an encounter set and then sit and assign images to each and every one of those cards by hand. That sounds miserable. So we're going to play a journey down the Anduin, and we're going to see how our Dale heroes can do against the Hill Troll. Uh, this is my opening hand, which looks pretty good. I've got the Steward. I have a bow, which is going to help us do attack. I have a map, which is going to help us make some progress. North Realm Lookout plus the map is great, basically. Uh, this Warrior of Dale does nothing right now, but that's okay. So let's just kick it off uh, and my initial encounter card reveal for the quest was hill troll so i didn't have to do anything else mm, all right well second warrior of dale is not the best start but one two puts a steward of gondor on bard son of brand who i will probably call brand several times as i get used to this name all right, two of his resources plays a North Realm look out. One of those resources puts a map of Ravanian on the North Realm lookout, which draws me a card and gives it an extra willpower. That's a good one to see early. So we are looking at a one, two, that, that is threat. That is definitely not what I meant. A one, two, three willpower North Realm lookout. And also a Three willpower. Uh, yep, doesn't specify items. I should have actually drawn another card because I put Steward of Gondor on, so we do that. 
that's a good one to see too. All right, so we're we're rolling here. I'm gonna send Theodrid, North Realm Lookout. Yeah, I'm just gonna send these two to the quest. Um, I'll send Bard too, so I can put a resource on him. So that is seven willpower, more than we are definitely going to need. Okay, no, we just revealed five threat worth of things. So one, two, three, four, five, six means I make one progress. Uh, I can travel to Gladden Field, but I'm not sure if I want to. I can play Northern Tracker next round and start clearing it that way, which might be better. Uh, yeah, so I will not. I will optionally engage in Eastern Crows. Uh, I get a shadow card. I only need one damage to shuffle them back, so Brand will defend, taking no damage, which allows the North Realm Lookout to defeat them. We're moving on to round number two. Hasty Stroke is nice. All right, so we are at four. Definitely used to put a Northern Tracker in play. Uh, I want a Hubbard for this Redwater Sentry soon enough. I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, let me play this Bow of You on Brand because it will let me draw a card and it will give him three willpower as well. I mean, so we're pretty good in the questing department. I can't cancel a shadow effect this round, but maybe that's all right. Uh, and we are going to quest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's five here. We could go up to 30. So I'm gonna send 11. Yeah, I'm gonna send eleven. We're gonna we're gonna see what we do. Uh, Theodore's resource will go on brand because of this hasty stroke potential. Reveal East Bite is actually absolutely fine. Uh, Northern Tracker put a progress here, which I forgot about. So one, four, five, six. I make five progress. One, two, three, four, five. I will travel to East Bite because I have no choice. Optionally engage Eastern Crows. Uh, I will take them undefended, which is a little risky, but I can cancel that shadow. So they only have one attack. Uh, we're going to put that damage on Phaedrid. Now everyone has three hit points. Uh, actually, let's put that on Bard. So that if I have to take a slightly bigger undefended attack, I have a bigger buffer on Phaedrid. Uh, and North Realm Lookout can shuffle the Eastern Crows back into the deck. All right, so no Hill Troll engaging yet. Uh, traffic from Dale will be great. Actually, it sort of is great already, right? I got one, two, three, so it's plus two resources. Um, gets me to six. So let's do traffic from Dale. Two resources on Brand Son of Bane. Allows me to play a Redwater Sentry. Right, that should have been one more because it was net plus two, but actually plus three. So yeah, that, that maths out to two copies of Redwater Sentry, uh, which I will spread out because they're gonna get armor attachments at some point. Do that for sure. Means I have some decent defense. Uh, so we are going to Northern Tracker, North Realm Lookout for four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do 11 again, committed to the quest. There's not a ton that is going to appear that would engage that I can't handle. Put one more on Gladden Fields, reveal, banks of the Anduin. Nice and easy. All right, one, four, five. Does that make six progress? Just enough to clear the bite. 
travel to Banks of the Anduin, and we do nothing else. Because next round is the Hill Troll round. Mmm, okay. Uh, well, I will play a North Realm Lookout, who is not great right now. I'll be entirely honest with you. Uh, I mean, he is technically a better, <laughs> a better, uh, what is it, Wandering Took, but, you know, without any attachments to play on him, eh. All right, this round we have to engage the Hill Troll, which really sucks. Uh, but I do still want to clear Gladden Fields, so we're going to send Northern Tracker, North Realm Lookout. I think that's it. We're going to send four to the quest. Ooh, do I want to send more than that? Uh, two attack, three attack, two attack. No, I'm just going to send four. If I don't clear Banks of the Anduin, that's okay. So, Northern Tracker puts one progress on Gladden Fields, sends it to the victory display. I reveal Evil Storm, which actually does nothing. Uh, means one, two, three progress is made. Banks of the Anduin goes back to the top of the encounter deck. I am forced to engage the Hill Troll, which means it has a shadow effect that is Banks of the Anduin, because I knew what that was. Uh, so now I get to do some math. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven effectively for the hill troll this round. Oh, it's a bit of a bummer. All right, we'll defend with a redwater sentry who will die. My threat goes up by one. Uh, and like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with the U bow. Uh, means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and good news, that means that Brand Son of Bane is enough to kill the Hill Troll himself next round. So let's move on to that round and see what we draw. Faramir I'm actually pretty good with. Extra willpower is very nice. Uh, and I can avoid making enough progress to advance if I want which I think I will do. Uh, so we're going to send three, four to the quest. Uh, I could have to raise my threat by one, but I am okay with that. And it will... No, you know what? Let's leave theater. We're just going to send three to the quest. I might have to raise my threat by two, but anything that comes out with threat on it more than one means I won't advance. So, reveal, driven by shadow, which surges into brown lands. I mean, it's basically what I was worried about. Raise my threat by two, travel to it and clear it out. That was the old shadow card. Uh, all right, now out of all of these, We'll have Redwater Sentry defend, who dies and raises my threat by one. And Brand is enough to send the Hill Troll to the victory display. And I'm not out of stage one yet, which is interesting. Well, let's move on to the next round. Here's a great card. All right, we're gonna spend one for another map of Ravanian on the North Realm Lookout, which makes it three willpower. Uh, I've been forgetting this response, by the way. Draws me a card. There's a Hauberk of Mail, which was gonna go on the defensive one, but didn't happen. Uh, so I'm gonna save that for now, I think. Yeah, because I can't attach it to Northern Tracker, who is sort of the best next choice. I could put it on either one of these guys, but three defense, three hit points is not great. Uh, so let's quest. I'm going to send one, seven, and Theodred will get an extra resource. I would put progress on the location, but there isn't one. And I reveal another hill troll. Uh, okay. 
Make six progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the hill troll. Gets a shadow effect. Oh, all right, Farmir, you are gonna defend. He dies and my threat goes up by one. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Just gonna put seven damage on the hill troll. So we're not quite in as good a shape as we were when we attacked the last one because the hill trolls keep eating my defenders. But we're moving on. Immediately two for King of Dale. King of Dale only works for one ally, but that's okay. Uh, I can reduce the cost of a Dale character by two. Play a Warrior of Dale. I, mean, I could put a Hauberk on him, make him two defense, three hit points. But I'd rather give him the bow, if possible. Um, who's going to defend this round? I guess Northern Tracker? Yeah, all right. We're going to leave it for now. Uh, we're going to quest really light. We're going to send six to the quest from these two guys. Reveal. Oof. All right, we're surging. We're surging. That's not so good. Okay, one, two, three, four. I make two more progress. Uh, Goblin Sniper is going to stay for a little while. I am forced to engage the Crows and the Wolf Rider. So, Shadow, Shadow, Shadow. Uh, like I said, Northern Tracker will defend the Hill Troll. Remove a progress token. Kill the tracker, raise my threat. Uh, all right. Um, Warrior of Dale will defend the Eastern Crows. Shadow Surges. Plus one means he takes one damage. Uh, and who is going to defend this Wolf Rider? I guess Bard will do it. Removes a progress token, he takes no damage. All right, so now I need to see what I can get rid of. Uh, one, two kills the wolf rider. Two, three, four, five is enough to kill the hill troll. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do. Uh, and goblin sniper is gonna put a damage out. So North Realm Lookout, that is on you. But now we're into stage two. And we're at 40 threat, and that's an extra steward of Gondor I don't need. Might as well King of Dale, one, two. I only actually need to pay one of those resources for another warrior of Dale. Uh, I will put a hauberk of mail on this one. Draws me a card. Gandalf is so good here. Like, phenomenally good. Um, yeah, so he currently has one, two defense. It's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, plays a Gandalf. Uh, I'm gonna have Gandalf draw me three cards. Okay, well, Valiant Sacrifice is going to get me more cards when Gandalf leaves. Sneak Attack will be good for future Gandalfs. Uh, and I can play a Lorien Guide right now. So one, two, three. Here is a Lorien Guide. Uh, yep, okay. Committing to the quest. I got three, six. Uh, we'll make... Actually, he's not really worth committing. So three, six, ten committed to the quest right now. I can't defend too many enemies. So three, six, ten... 11, 14, 17. Right, and I'll definitely be able to defend and kill the crows. And if I don't get another enemy, I can take out Goblin Sniper. Uh, so, that one I was a little worried about because I don't have that many hit points to spare. 
that's okay. Uh, all right. Up against four, I make 13 progress. Means I can sort of save up next round, which is good. I can optionally engage Goblin Sniper, so no more enemies. Definitely not traveling to Enchanted Stream. Uh, they get Shadow Shadow. Warrior of Dale will defend this Goblin Sniper. Takes one damage. Other Warrior of Dale will defend the Eastern Crows, taking no damage. Uh, Theodred is enough to kill the Goblin Sniper. North Realm Lookouts can shuffle the Eastern Crows back in. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, end of the round, Gandalf is going to get discarded, which allows me to play Valiant Sacrifice. Draw two more cards as another Warrior of Dale. And at 41 threat, uh, boy, I sure hope. Uh, I could waste this sneak attack so badly, but I'm not going to. All right, Steward of Gondor puts two more resources on Bard. I'm gonna spend one of these for a Snowborn Scout. Puts one progress on Enchanted Stream. Uh, we're gonna use King of Dale and one resource to play another Warrior of Dale. I really want to sneak attack something, but uh, my hand has no value in it. And I don't have to quest as hard this round, so we're gonna send three, six. Can't send Bard, he might die. Uh, three, six, nine. Yeah, I think that should be good. And we reveal, reveal. All right, remove four progress. One, two, three, four. Uh, this is kind of bad. But up against four, I make five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, maybe that's good because I didn't quite make it. So I can optionally engage the Goblin Sniper, who I will defend with my two defense warrior, who is going to take another point of damage. Uh, and then the Goblin Sniper gets killed. So that's not putting out more direct damage, which is great. I am at 41 threats, so we got to like wrap this up, but nobody's dying yet. Map of Ravanian is actually pretty solid here. One, two for resources. Uh, I'm gonna spend one, a map of Ravanian, on this warrior of Dale, which gives him one willpower. Draws me a card. That's a good one. One, two, three. There's a red water sentry who can help me defend some attacks. I just need another attachment to put on him or a Gandalf, or in anything. All right, we're gonna send, we're gonna send nine to the quest yet again. Reveal, reveal, Eastern Crows surges into Dog with their orcs. Ooh, okay, uh, we're gonna put two damage on Brand Son of Bane. And I have two, four, five, six, seven, so I make two progress. Which means, of course, that we have cleared stage two. And we're now in stage three. Reveal, reveal. And that's a Marsh Adder. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm not going to travel to Enchanted Stream. I have to engage all of these enemies, uh, which go in this order. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Where's the Gandalf when you need it? Uh, all right. Snowborn Scout is going to defend the Marsh Adder. Removing a progress, that does nothing. My threat goes up by one. Snowborn Scout is toast. Uh, Redwater Sentry is going to defend Dogalder Orcs. Taking no damage. Uh, and who is the least useful of all of these? Uh, Lorien Guide will defend Eastern Crows and get destroyed. But now, conveniently, uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight is enough to send Marsh Adder to the victory display. Uh, three is enough to kill Dog Butter Orcs. And now all I have to do is deal with this Eastern Crows. Let's see what I draw. 
A casual 44 threat. One, two, plays a wandering took, immediately replenishes. Uh, there's four threat in the staging area, so I make two progress, just questing with North Realm lookouts. I'll defend Eastern Crows with the Redwater Sentry, taking no damage. And because this is a lot of fun, uh, three, four, can't actually do that because it would kill the crows. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage to the eastern crows. Shuffles them back into the deck. We have survived the ambush on the shore with a Dale starter deck. Uh, it went pretty okay, aside from that second hill troll popping up when I really wasn't prepared for it. All right, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.